At a church in Madrid, Masil Rubio is packing medical supplies donated by hospitals, pharmacies and individual people, all bound for Cuba. She is part of a growing international network of volunteers from the Cuban diaspora who have been transporting tons of aid back to the island in recent months. The island, which has one of the worst COVID outbreaks in the world, was recently racked by mass protests. It consists of creating a collective dynamic of cooperation in which people who send their families packages can support and pay for shipments for other families who do not have anyone outside. We have a platform, Kofi, where anyone can donate from anywhere in the world to pay for the extra suitcases, to pay for medicines, for supplies that are missing. There has been a wonderful collaboration also from the hospitals, I must say. After supplies are carefully wrapped in the church, volunteers like Rachel Savigny then take the supply to Cuba. The healthcare system has already collapsed there. There are many people in need. There are many sick people, and this is helpful. Built under the late revolutionary leader Fidel Castro, Cuba's universal public health care system is one of his revolution's most treasured achievements. But the country's deep economic crisis has seen shortages of medicines and other basic goods. The government largely blames U.S. sanctions, while its critics blame the inefficient state-run economy. Last month, the shortages, along with power outages and a lack of civil liberties, prompted rare mass street protests. One of the measures the Cuban government took in response to the unrest was to allow travelers to bring in medicine, food and sanitary products without paying import duties. In the two weeks following that move, travelers brought in 112 tons of such goods via Havana International Airport, according to Cuban Customs. Volunteers welcomed that move, but say its impact was limited, given the few flights operating to Cuba after the government restricted them due to the global health crisis. Many Cubans will continue to rely on volunteers like Marilise Colate, who boarded a plane from Madrid to Havana with 100 kilograms of supplies. The emotion is enormous, phenomenal. I'm just flipping out because the most beautiful thing I feel in my life is to be able to give the medicine I bring to people who are sick, to give it to the hospitals that need it. 